Hi everyone, this is Cole, aka The Vegan Ape. I'm going to be narrating this video, so get your ears ready for my voice. Uh, here I am at Boy Park in Belfast. I'm here every week uh, on Sundays at one thirty. if you want to come along. Here I am on the old uh, the rings. I've just got these new rings. Uh, two of these on the right are mine and the two on the left are my friend William's. Really awesome piece of uh, kit for any exercise. I just I have in my backpack and I just take them to wherever I go and if I see somewhere I can put them up, I put them up. And you've got all you've got access then to just do all these cool exercises. I don't know the name of this, I don't know if it's got a fancy name, probably does, but just I just I just call it back in fronty XE sizey thing. That's what I always call it, so and you can't prove I don't. So yeah, just try and do it slowly under control, all these movements and it's good exercise that way. Um I'm gonna do some pull ups here. Pull ups on the pull ups on the rings are a bit different to pull ups on a bar. I think they're a little bit harder, but you have to use more muscle control just to try and stop the rocking. Every time I come down I try and go into a dead hang. So I don't end up bouncing up and down. It's a bit of a cheat. So I try and go into an absolute dead hang. So it's just full muscle control every time. And I try and go as high as I can when I pull up as well. I'm trying to work up to be able to do a muscle up, but I'm not quite there yet. Okay, here we go. We've got a little POV shot here. I'm pretty proud of this shot. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, this is what it's like to be me, basically. This is what I see. Uh, yeah, it's just this is called brachiating this type of movement. It's something that all apes can do, but mainly uh, the most the most common use is uh, by gibbons. They pretty much only move this way. It's a really fun thing to do. I can't. Get, I don't know if this. I hope this video is fun, but. I just absolutely love doing this. I could just do this all day. You probably can tell by how much footage I put of me just doing it because I absolutely love it. Something about it, something about the rhythm, I don't know, but it reminds me of, it just feels, makes you feel like I'm in touch with nature. It makes you feel like, we, I mean, we are, we are, we are apes. So <laughs> uh, this is the sort of movement that, you know, would be a quite a natural movement, I think, uh, for us in a rainforest environment you know like swinging from the trees from low down tree branches all apes can move this way we all have um, muscle and joint structure that can support brachiation uh, the only the only ape that really can't do it is a uh, male gor gorillas not because they haven't got the muscle and uh, joints that can support it just because they're simply just too heavy for most trees to support their weight but they you know they have the physical capability of doing it but yeah, just absolutely love doing it. I recommend it to you guys just to tr if you ever get a chance to try swinging around. Any time spent suspended, any time spent off the ground, um, it's quite good for your muscles and apparently quite good for your back as well. Okay, here I'm going to do some handstand to uh, headstand to handstand push ups or attempted push ups. I've got the strength to do it, but it's keeping the balance as you push up. That's the hard thing. I've got the strength, but just having the strength and the control to come together like that that's <laughs> that's where I keep fall out falling down uh, I think literally in this in this case yep yeah, right on my ass on the wet grass but you know in life we do fall sometimes don't we so it's no big deal all right here I am on my slat line if you've watched this channel before you've probably seen me on my slat line uh, it's a wicked piece of kit I absolutely love it I got mine in Hong Kong a couple of years ago and I don't know, I wouldn't say I like have trained like all the time. I guess I average like every other week or something. I mean, all, sometimes there's a couple of weeks go by I don't go on it, maybe a month. But I just love it. I've, you know, I do go on it now and then for like a half an hour. And it's just good, really good core exercise and good for your legs. And your core is something that you can't really fake. You can't really like exercise your core uh, in isolated movements in a gym. You really do have to be using your whole body to, to properly work your core. And those, you know, those are the sorts of exercises that are more fun anyway. This is, I mean, I don't think of this really as an exercise. I just love doing it. Uh, I've got, you know, I'm getting better at slat line in now. I can do a little turn. I think I do a little turn in a minute. You can watch my feet. So you, I pretty much get that right three times out of four now, the turn. Uh, yeah, close up my beard. I don't actually like having a beard. I grow it for extras work. Uh, Game of Thrones is starting shooting again soon, so I hope to, hope to get some work on there where I'll probably be a wildling again. And having a beard is a bit of a prerequisite for that. Okay, here's a handstand to a bridge. See, I do that. I don't even, my de head didn't actually touch the ground there, so I'm getting better at them. I'm tr all trying to build up to doing a front handspring, and I think this is a 
interim move that should give me the confidence to try it. Now, this is fun. At the end of the day, after all our training, we I took the half the slat line halfway down and uh, we set the rings up around the tree. We had an idea that we could just smoothly <laughs> brachiate all the way around the tree, like in one continuous motion, but we hadn't hadn't taken into account that you uh part of brachiation part of like uh, hand swinging is uh the momentum carries you onto the next one um and that obviously if you're going around a central like object if you're like traveling around in a circle you can't it's not a straight line so <laughs> it didn't work that way but it was still fun still good exercise and we made it a little challenge to see how many times around the tree we could go and this is my buddy william he's uh he's the best at it to be fair he he um eventually did two and a half times around the tree which <laughs> two and a half times around the tree doesn't sound like a lot but uh this was quite hard so it was difficult uh so yeah this is pretty much the end of the video now i hope you guys have enjoyed enjoyed the video i hope you enjoy the channel uh you know i'm obligated now to say like share and subscribe i mean that's apparently what i have to say um but just you know i hope you enjoy it and if you do join this stuff remember to keep uh watch out for your hands because you can overtrain so just be careful and have fun. Thanks for watching.